Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about troubleshooting RNA interference. To start off, I want you to think of an orchestra. So many different musical instruments make up of an orchestra. There are flutes, violins, clarinets, trombones, you get the idea. These instruments work together to create a beautiful symphony under the direction of a conductor. Now, I want you to think of the human body as this orchestra. Ribonuclei acid, known as RNA, is the conductor and the musical instruments are our genes. When RNA interference happens, the RNA silences certain genes in order to stop their expression, like a conductor will silence instruments in the orchestra with the wave of a hand. So how does RNA work? In order for this to occur, small interfering RNA, known as siRNA, or microRNA, known as miRNA, are given instructions to target a messenger RNA, known as mRNA. The role of this mRNA is to make a protein for a gene. In order for that gene to be too turned on or expressed, the siRNA or miRNA destroys the messenger RNA so that the gene cannot be expressed. Now, this is a biological process that occurs naturally, but it is also utilized to suppress gene expression and fight diseases. However, the artificial process is not always perfect, and sometimes problems can occur. Today, we will be talking about two of them, off-target effects and incomplete knockdown. All right, imagine you're trying to hit a target with a dart, but instead of hitting the bullseye, your dart veers off and hits something else nearby. In biology, when scientists design gene therapy treatments to target specific parts of the body, sometimes they can accidentally affect other parts too, just like when you're hitting the wrong thing on the dart. This is what we call off-target effects. Off-target def effects in RNA occurs when the RNA gene silencing mechanism targets a gene that isn't designed to target. This can happen because genes look very similar to each other, and when they are cut up by the RNA machinery, scientists can find it difficult to differentiate between their gene of interest and one that is nearly identical to it. Now, moving on. Let's talk about incomplete knockdown. I want you to imagine you're at home, and your neighbor is throwing a really loud party. The music is blaring, and you want some peace and quiet, so you close your windows. However, once you close them, you can still hear the music, only muffled now. In this situation, the loud music is the gene being expressed, and the closed windows are the RNA interference mechanism. Notice how once the windows are closed, the music is still audible, even though it's muffled. This is the same during incomplete knockdown. The gene is still expressed, as the RNA interference did not entirely silence it, meaning that the gene is still functional. Sometimes this happens because the RNA mechanism that was used may have been inefficient, or because the targeted gene may be more resistant to it. So... Just to recap what we talked about, RNA interference is a technique where RNA molecules such as siRNA and miRNA can silence genes by targeting messenger RNA, which aids in understanding gene function or treating diseases. Sometimes problems can occur, such as off-target effects, which is when an incorrect gene is targeted, or incomplete knockdown, which results in a still functional gene due to non-effective silencing. However, there are some proposed ways to mitigate these effects, such as bioinformatic tools. Using bioinformatic tools for RNA design helps reduce issues by enabling scientists to create RNA molecules that precisely target specific genes. Bioinformatic tools analyze genetic data to predict how RNA sequences will behave within cells. By using these tools, researchers can design RNA molecules more accurately, reducing the need for troubleshooting. This makes the RNA interference process easier, producing research more efficiently and potentially leading to new disease treatments. Another method to reduce these issues is to include experimental control groups in order to validate RNA interference results. Overall, enhancing target specificity by using better methods to target genes can lessen un unintended results. By fixing these issues, we can make sure that the RNA interference runs smoothly and that the orchestra plays a beautiful symphony. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button for more content.